The fourth edition of the On The Move was held on June 19th. This creative bike ride event, under the theme Uncovering Heritage, had two different routes, the Western one and the Chinese one. The Western route started with Casa do Opio, Opium House. Formerly, this was an opium warehouse that was subsequently used for general storage and is currently used as a clinic operated by the Tung Charitable Society. All the buildings around the Sitahau area were facing central water body where the boats would stop and would offload goods into these warehouses. On the Chinese route, we started by cycling along the narrow streets of the Inner Harbor until we reach Hong Chen Quan Temple. This is a Chinese temple that offers worships to various gods. It's also known as the Bazaar Temple, and in front of this temple was once a public space used for markets and trading. In front of the temple used to be the waterfront and the pier where boats would park and offload goods into the trading space that was located on the public space in front of the temple. Back to the western route, we arrived at the greenhouse next to Ama Temple. Formerly the Maritime Museum, it is currently the museum office. The Maritime Exhibition Hall was originally located at the current summer building at the Moorish Barracks in 1912. It was relocated to this greenhouse next to Ama Temple in 1987 and later moved to the Maritime Museum. The current building is now used for administrative office of the Maritime Museum. It has an eclectic appearance that shows a strong Western and Portuguese influence which was common in the early to mid 20th century in Macau, following the style that is known as soft Portuguese, Portuguese suave. The Chinese route continues through the theater streets. This area was a shoreline of Macau hundreds of years ago, and the Chinese name literally means Big Pier Street. In fact, this area was once known as Big Pier Zone, where key custom facilities were established. The Chinese name of Rua da Tricena means Fruit Wholesalers Street. This means that this area had been popular for fruit wholesalers for a long time. In this street is located a small temple that was built before the year 1796 called Fok Tak Temple, dedicated to Tote, which is a common site in many vernacular temples and shrines in Macau. Very close to Ama Temple, we arrived at the Navy Yards. Formerly a government shipyard, with Captain Office and Docks, it's currently a contemporary art exhibition and performance center. The government shipbuilding and maintenance in Macau was formally started in 1890s, and the Barra Docks was the first site for the Navy Yards. Very types of buildings were made in these docks, from maritime works to freighter and passenger ships, both in wood and steel. The main building was built in 1920s as the workshop and office for the captain and carpenters and mechanical room. And the last ship was made in the Barra Docks in 2001. This very unusual space is now an urban plaza filled with water, which is a very unusual and interesting space. While the western route is now moving next to the water of Saifan, on the Chinese route, we continue along the old streets of Macau and we reach the Lin Kai Temple, first built in 1830s and later rebuilt in 1875. Similar to many temples, the Lin Kai Temple offers worship to various gods as protectors of local people. Lin Kai literally means lotus stream, a reference to the original geography of the area where a river once flowed in the Barca district. After a beautiful cycle along the water, we arrived at the Ritchie Building, formerly the house and office of the Jardine Madison Company. The building was built in 1868, and it was a complex of two buildings that are now divided. It was continuously operated until 1949, when the company shifted to Hong Kong, and then the site was given to the church to operate Matteo Ritchie College in 1955.
Chinese route moved backwards to the 5th October Street, stopping by the Taxing Pawn Shop. This is a typical pawn shop with a 45 tower on the back and a pawn shop in the front, facing the street. Pawn shops were common in the early days and served as a form of financial institution for the local economy and businesses, and its architectural morphology as a tower marked the urban landscape of Macau for decades. On the western route, we've passed by the government headquarters. The building was originally built in 1849 and owned by the Visconde Cercal as a private residency known as Palace of Cercal. It later became the government property and had become the government representation ever since. The neighborhood of Rua da Felicidade and the surroundings were beaches and swamps before 1860. It was developed by Chinese Fujianese families who created the new neighborhood including Rua da Felicidade, Shengping Theater and the surroundings. The Chinese name literally means New Street of Luck and Prosperity. It was once the heart of Macau's red light district and entertainment cluster. The buildings were used for brothels, tea houses, opium halls, gambling stalls and pubs. The neighborhood fell into decline from the mid 20th century. It was preserved as one of the traditional commercial streets and has been an iconic tourist destination. Senado Square is our next stop, where the Leal Senado building is located. Originally built in 1784, it had a great transformation in 1876 and a later transformation in 1940s. Originally the City Hall and Senate building, it's currently the government municipal affairs office and also a library and exhibition hall. Its ground floor has a covered plaza that works as an indoor public space. Along the Chinese route, we passed near several patios and stopped by Travessa das Venturas. Formerly part of the red light district and currently a residential cluster, this complex of buildings has the typology of patio, which is a form of traditional residential cluster for the Chinese community, where enclosed streets with one or two entrances create a semi-public or semi-private space in the middle of the city. Both routes went back to Pont 9, a creative platform at the heart of the Inner Harbour. On the move is a creative bike ride, where different participants ride a bicycle along the city to explore surroundings and prove that biking in Macau is possible and enjoyable. <laughs> 